What's going on, everybody? I know it's been a while since I've done a video last. Just been following the Brian Laundry manhunt, seeing if there was any leads. Uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter is in on the hunt, and I've heard some what John Walsh is too, but more Dog the Bounty Hunter. Uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter got a tipster that Brian Laundry was 75 miles away from his parents' home where his parents has gone on vacation with Brian in the past. And sources say that that's where he's hiding. Been following this case as much as I can. So, I said in my previous video that I was going to do what I can uh, to bring you as much information as I possibly can. I know that many of you out there have probably been following this case as much as I have, but I'm going to continue to bring you as much information as I possibly can on whatever breaking news comes about. So with that being said, Dog the Bounty Hunter went to Brian Laundrie's home, knocked on the door, and Brian Laundrie's mother called 911 on Dog the Bounty Hunter, even though that Dog, before even showing up at all, notified the police department to let him know that he was, in fact, going to be going to the Laundrie's home and knocking, talking to the mother trying to find out any information on the whereabouts of Brian Laundry. However, they did not happen. She did not come to the door. Instead, she called number one. After a while, Dog the Bounty Hunter got back in a Jeep, which appeared to be his daughter, and they left. And then, not even after they left, uh, a police officer did show up. However, Dog the Bounty Hunter was away from the residence at that time. Um, I've been watching news feed after news feed, breaking news after breaking news, manhunt after manhunt, and they still have not found Brian Laundry. I'm hoping sooner or later he is found and justice is served for what he did to Gabby. And just found out earlier today, I live in West Virginia, and I found out earlier today that in Greenbar County, West Virginia, there was in fact human remains found and law enforcement was on scene. However, the news reporter had to park at least a half mile from the scene or just out of sight and she pointed in the direction of where law enforcement was conducting the investigation. Now earlier this morning when I arrived at work several of my co-workers um, was talking about the manhunt and one of them said that Someone in North Carolina spotted him on the Appalachian Trail. The Appalachian Trail goes from North Carolina all the way up into West Virginia and Greenbrier County for some of you out there that doesn't know anything about West Virginia. Greenbrier County is in the southeastern part of the state which is down closer to Virginia and it's not that far and there's a bomb shelter down there um, that is used in the event of a very bad terrorist attack to where the president can be secured if that was ever to happen. Um, there's also a tunnel down there somewhere, I forget the name of the tunnel, but the tunnel has been used in many movies. Uh, I can't recall which movies, but 
the tunnel has been used in uh, a number of movies. The Greenboro National Forest is in Greenboro County. And that is where the movie Wrong Turn, for many of you out there that have seen the movie Wrong Turn, that is where the movie Wrong Turn has been filmed, is in the Greenboro National Forest in Greenboro County, West Virginia. But all I could say is, once I find out um, in further detail, once an identification has been made, I will let you know if those remains were in fact those of Brian Laundry found in Greenboro County, West Virginia. If they are not that of Brian Laundry, I will not give out the name of the person who they belong to. I will just say that the human remains was not that of Brian Laundry, but if they are, I will say I will let you know that they are, but I won't know until an invest, uh, further investigation is done and a positive identification is made of the human remains. So, with Brian Laundry on on the run and law enforcement in Florida has not yet found him. If he is not in the state of Florida, and has not left the country and he, if that is in fact true that he was on the Appalachian Trail and somebody in North Carolina identified him, it's possible that the human remains found in Greenbar County, West Virginia could be in fact those of Brian Laundry. but I will not know anything else until I find out a positive identification once I find out more information on the news. So, with that being said, I will continue to follow this manhunt of Brian Laundry, and I believe, if nothing's been done, I believe that Brian Laundry's parents should be held accountable uh, for his actions. He, they should be prosecuted as well, and be in just as much trouble as he is. Whether that will happen or not, I don't know. But I hope that he is found dead or alive and justice is served. Because to the family and friends of Gabby Petito, Gabby did not deserve this. Gabby didn't deserve this at all. And I hope that Brown Laundry, if you are found and arrested. I hope that they throw the book at you because you're going away for a very long time. And I hope that justice is served. Well, that's all for tonight. I will continue checking into this manhunt and I will bring you more information as uh, more things unfold. So, Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you again on the next video.